Um, I'm up. I've been up for several hours because your girl has a new morning routine that she's been super, super diligent and steady with, and I am feeling really good about that. I am getting ready to edit, actually. A little bit of random footage that I want to include in this video. Maybe not the typical film, I don't know, because at this point, we're just completely into the unknown. <laughs> My skin has been thriving. I have on my motherhood as my superpower tea this morning, so I'm feeling all kinds of superhero strong. And we're just gonna see what we get into today. And if there's fingerprints on this mirror, it's 100% my daughter. <laughs> Good morning, love bugs. Morning. <laughs> this book is my favorite. The War That Saved My Life? And the one I'm reading now. The I War I Finally Won? Mm -hmm. You did? Okay, it's breakfast time. We had devotions and they're having breakfast and then we're gonna head off on our morning walk. I have to go check on our plant babies right now. Grew even more. I'm gonna go order it. Mine grew more too. So, uh, I've got some books laid out here to highlight some of our favorites. I wanna take some book pictures because I wanna start including that on our um, Instagram. I can just kinda highlight some of the books they've read and the ones that are their favorites so I laid them out to try to get some fun book pictures. Cameron is watering his plant. Wild Robot is one of our absolute favorites and the Wild Robot Escape. <laughs> are reading one of them is right there and the other two in the other room I'm sorry for the glare but I got these blue light blocking glasses and I'm always on my computer so I thought they would really help my eyes so um, I am taking a little bit of a break um, before I start reading with them we read a lot <laughs> a whole lot these days um, but I am going to take a quick break. Brian made me some breakfast. Now it's time for me to take my vitamins and I'm going to make myself some iced coffee as a reward and an incentive to keep pressing through the day. <laughs> and then I'm going to grab, um, I want to take some book pictures today so I think I'm going to do that and then I'm going to grab my book so I can join them and read. Um, and make my way through the rest of the edit. I've been watching these study with me videos, which I absolutely love. Um, a lot of them are geared towards high school and college students, which makes sense. But um, I'm seriously thinking about doing one of our own. So I know that uh, seems a little bit different around here, but the whole read with me, study with me um, situation is looking mighty appealing. And uh, since we're entering into the unknown <laughs> in these um, with quarantine and changing up our plans um, for the tour and things like that for Fargo family, I'm just really trying to stay open to trying new things um, until we can get back to our regularly scheduled program. So, but yeah, it's a lot of new and different. Everything is unknown these days, but I'm trying my best, my hardest, to embrace it.
my our new dining room table. It is not done by any means, but it is major progress. They painted the room, put together the dining room table and the chairs, and it looks so good so far. Um, I still need to work on the decor part of it, but our little house <laughs> has come a long way. So, and there it is. I don't know if you guys remember what our dining room looked like before, but it has come a very long way. I wanted to do something different and got the marble table. I feel like I like it. I'm not sure yet. Um, I feel like it may look a little bit too formal with the chairs, but I think I have a fix for that. Another thing that I wanted to do along with maybe like a study with me is get back on to my house that Faith built series. I may be getting back to that too. Everything is unknown these days, so it's all on the table. <laughs> First of all, I I absolutely love the way the kids have been reading lately. It's been, I don't know, like I have official like reader readers. <laughs> so I am going to be taking pictures. I got my coffee, but I have no ice. <laughs> my ice maker hasn't worked since we lived here. And normally I put ice cubes in the freezer, but I didn't this time around. So. Kind of sad because I've got my coffee, but no ice. I love seeing my curls just kind of swing in the background. Um, <laughs> I've been doing a whole self-care situation uh, with Savannah that's been a lot of fun that I think I may share about here too. Got into that phase with her where I really want to focus in on her caring for herself and her hair and her skin. And of course I can't do that if I don't do the same for myself. So, I've been letting my... Hey babe. We're reading in my bed. I'm just gonna go see something because I might make a fortress in my bed. I need to see if those poles that look like corners will fit. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're so funny. So, I've kind of been trying to let my curls live a little bit if I want to teach my baby girl how to care for her. Back to editing. So, for all of you who have been asking for a hair routine from Savannah for a very long time, it looks like I just may get that done. Do you like doing work like this to our house? So what are we doing? We're placing this fence. It's all right it out. This is probably the original fence, which means it's probably the older I am. Loving on an old house isn't easy. It takes a lot of faith, patience, and focusing your attentions on one small thing at a time, as not to get too overwhelmed. From fixing one pipe here, new sheetrock there, and installing a new fence after watching each panel rot and break off with each passing storm, the list always feels like it's a mile longer than it was the day before. It's a faith builder for sure. I've enjoyed it. This house that our faith is building one word and one work at a time. Grateful for the hands that are always there to help us and the hearts that make this house home. The end of the day is here. My face is shining and my heart is happy. <laughs> I just got back from a walk. I took book pictures, edited the video so that I can keep in touch with you all. And I came across this quote that I love that I can't help but to share. Hey mama. <laughs> We're going to try some new creative things with our channel. Been a lot of unknowns, but we are doing our very best in trusting in God's plan. And obviously with our homeschool life. No, that's mommy's. Today I was talking about walking in the unknown. Because we had lots of plans for Falco family and they've changed a bit. A little bit more than a bit. But it's okay to walk in the unknown. Like, what's the song? You're not gonna sing it? We were singing it earlier. Ready? I'll sing it with you. Oh, no, no, no. 
<laughs> Into the unknown. <laughs> Why don't you read this quote that I found that I love that we're gonna share with our Falco friends. Perhaps you were made for this moment to walk through blazing fire and come and come forth as gold. As gold. <laughs> Perhaps this is what this season is all about. Trusting in the unknowns, finding gold in the little thin trading field of what and sodas for freedom to thrive. How much stuff do I take a day? Does that, does that depend on how long you're sitting? Well, if you're sitting, you take less steps, don't you? Ooh, honey, that's a word. <laughs> Walking in the unknown right now, and that's okay because life is so very full of lessons. So, we live and we learn. We live and we learn. So, yes. A little bit more time to work on things around the house to be good stewards of the things that we've been given to pray for others and love on others the best way that we know how to increase our time together and spend more time being even more um, grateful and more mindful and more penseful because you know that's what I'm all about and um, that is how we've been spending our days together so this whole unschool life, this unschool homeschool life in quarantine lately has been interesting and there's been a lot of unknowns, but we're embracing them with our whole hearts and, uh, and we hope that you're doing the same. There's a new post up on our blog that lays out all that we got into that week of unschool. If you care to visit, check the link in the description and we'll see you in the next video.